Scandinavian traditions can be found at Al Johnson's in Door County near Sister Bay. Come for the goats on the roof. Stay for the Swedish pancakes and meatballs. As you travel State Highway 42 in Sister Bay, you may spot something curious. Yes, those are goats on that roof. No, I'm not kidding. The goats have been a part of Al Johnson's Swedish restaurant and boutique since 1973. The tradition started as a prank. Harold, or Winky Larson, acquired a goat named Oscar for Al's birthday. He used a ladder to put the goat on the roof of the restaurant, breaking his own collarbone in the process. Since then, the Scandinavian goats can be seen posing for tourists. When not on the roof, the goats live on a 40-acre local farm about a mile away. Some of the goats are regulars, others join when they're in the mood. The goats are brought in by truck and use a three-level ramp at the back of the building. Typically, you can see the goats from May until early October. They go up around 9 a.m. and come back down at 3 p.m. If the goats are missing, it's probably because of the weather. They would rather be on the farm if it's too hot or too cold. Rain can also be a factor. The goats take care of a lot of the grass, but there are still some spots that need to be mowed. If you can't make it to Door County, goat cams are available on their website. The goats will peer down to some of Al Johnson's more recent additions. The Stabur Beer Garden opened in June of 2016. The standalone bar is stocked with everything you would expect and even some local drinks. The specialty cocktails we had were delicious. The outdoor seating lets you enjoy Door County's pleasant summer temperatures. A walk-up kitchen or shook which is Swedish for kitchen, was added in 2018. This kitchen is generally open from late May until mid-October. In this area, families can also enjoy lawn games. A stage provides opportunities for live music. Looking for souvenirs? They opened a boutique in the building to the south in late 2020 named Skull. Here you can find a selection of Scandinavian-influenced products and more. The original boutique is in the same building that houses the restaurant. You can find additional items here, including goat-themed merchandise. The restaurant opened in Sister Bay in 1949. This is where you will want to have breakfast or lunch. The menu is large and offers some specialty plates. The traditional Scandinavian clothing the staff wears adds to the experience. The homemade Swedish meatballs can be a meal or served as a side. Served all day, Al's famous Swedish pancakes are one of their most popular items. Swedish pancakes seem more like crepes, thin and flat. Unlike crepes, Al's are stacked in fours and are square in shape. There are plenty of options to pick for the toppings. A traditionalist will opt for the powdered sugar. Swedish lingonberries are an excellent option. Lingonberries grow on shrubs in colder northern regions. Some say it has a taste somewhere between a cranberry and a currant. I decided to top both of them off with Al Johnson's own signature syrup. I was pleased. We can thank Al for starting this all. His full name was Axel Albert Johnson. Al's parents came from Sweden and settled in Chicago. Al's father was a janitor at St. Ignatius College Prep. This position provided schooling for Al and his siblings. When Al was six or seven, his parents sent him and his sister Mildred to Sweden for a couple of years. Here began his lifelong love of skiing. The two took the train and the boat journeys by themselves. His sense of adventure and aversion to the big city led him to spend his summers in Door County. 
He lived in a small log cabin with a dirt floor in the Appleport area, east of Sister Bay. Al began to work in the restaurant industry until World War II. During the war, Al served as a paratrooper. In 1949, Al bought a building that was a Hanson's IGA grocery store. He and a partner, who was eventually bought out, turned it into a restaurant. Al lived in an apartment above the restaurant. Al's wife Engert came to the United States as a teenager and eventually began working in nearby Bailey's Harbor. They met at the local bowling alley in Sister Bay. After some convincing, she agreed to marry Al in 1959. Her contributions were key to their success. Over the years, they helped grow the restaurant and the community. Sadly, Al Johnson passed in 2010 at the age of 84. His legacy continues today. Door County held a special place in his heart, and it's easy to see why. Al would approve of this next location in Door County.